What's good y'all, Reds here. Today's soap review will feature Ariana and Evans Little Fictions. Many of you know uh, Ariana and Evans started out with uh, some interesting collaborations, um, most notably with the uh, artist and perfumer uh, Grey Matter Perfumes. I'll link their site below if you care to check out any of their uh, fragrance offerings. Um, in recent memory, they've kind of moved, Ariana and Evans, that is, has moved uh, to more house brand or a house blended sense, I should say, original sense rather than collaborations. Uh, but they still do offer several of the uh, collaborations they've done in the past with Grey Matter. Ariana and Evans can be purchased direct from their website, which as always I'll link below, as well as West Coast Shaving, Small Flower, and TVB Shaving if you're international. So Little Fictions uh, is a deeply complex scent, as you can probably imagine, based on its uh, fragrance roots. Um, it evokes the sensation of a sunset on a beach, and thusly it features notes of coconut, cedar, bitter orange, bergamot, lavender, sage, juniper berries, white rum, white tea, amorous, lemon, musk, honeydew and ocean mist um, I find this to be an all-season user um, because I particularly love this scent uh, many people will probably reserve this as a uh, warm weather scent um, I'm met with coconut first which is uh, complemented nicely by the dry citrus of the bergamot and the bitter orange um, the white rum white tea and honeydew give it a, a hint of sweetness not cloyingly sweet though um, and really the other notes are complimentary but if you close your eyes and, and just take a deep whiff of this it really does evoke that sensation of sunset on a beach um, the ocean mist is uh, present towards the back end of the scent it's uh, quite a nice scent as with all Ariana and Evans scents, this one comes off the puck strong in terms of scent strength and the uh, lather remains strong once lathered. Two closest scents I can come up with from wet shaving that would uh, be similar to this would be the uh, Sterling Soap Co. South Padre or Oleo Soapworks Mountain Rose Beach. So Little Fictions is offered in the uh, tallow and goat milk soap base and uh, you'll you'll know if you've watched previous Ariane and Evans reviews I truly enjoy this soap base it's absolutely in my uh, top five soap bases this is on the uh, firmer side in terms of soap bases and it is extremely thirsty soap but you're thoroughly rewarded when you dial the lather in uh, and hydrate it properly with a Greek yogurt consistency lather that has elite level slickness both primary slickness and residual slickness uh, and the post shave is also elite easily forego an aftershave product um, which I typically don't just because the Ariana and Evans skin food aftershave is uh, one of my favorite aftershaves out there as well so given all those metrics the um, shave score for this soap base if you'll recall is a uh, 95 and soap bases with similar performance to this would be the uh, holy cow donkey milk soap base as well as the uh, Declaration Grooming Bison Tallow Soap Base. So as you can imagine, based on the uh, accolades I gave the uh, performance uh, score as well as the uh, scent description, I had a wonderful shave with this Ariana and Evans Little Fictions. Everything went well, face, dome, both smooth, supple. Uh, I will use the aftershave product because as I mentioned, I truly enjoy it. Hope you'll uh, check out this particular scent and uh, maybe you'll enjoy it as much as I do. 
If not, there's plenty of other Ariana and Evans products out there for you to uh, dive into. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.